So this is how I make our liquid goat milk soap paste bags into liquid goat milk soap. It's really quite simple. I'm measuring it out. And I got my hot distilled water. I like to work with hot, you can go with warm. Measuring that out to be three parts water and one part soap paste. You can also use reverse osmosis water or tap water if you boil it first. Wow, this takes a while. Sorry about that, folks. Then we gotta mix it up here real good with the whisk until all the soap is dissolved in the water. Gets nice and sudsy. You'll notice it's a really dark color. It almost looks brown in the video here, but it's not quite brown in, in reality. Then I added the essential oils, which makes it turn more caramel color. It's really quite nice. It also helps thicken it. I waited until it cooled before I put the essential oils in. Then we bottle it. It gets a little foamy, so I have to wait for the suds to uh, go down before I can finish. And you just fold up the bag. I put a rubber band on it with the extra and stick it in the freezer for next time. And I'm topping it off. Ain't gotten a little impatient waiting for the suds to go down, so I take them out with a knife. And bam! Three bottles of Harvest Spice. Now let's move on to this demo here. I'm trying to show you how you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. I'm just adding a little extra paste by eye here because I'm shooting for a really thick soap with this one. I'm mixing it up in a little bit of water. This is probably a 2 to 1 ratio roundabout right here. Lots of suds. Lots. Alright, you can kind of see it's pretty thick. It's getting to about thickness of what you buy in the store right there. And plus it's going to get a little thicker as it cools. Soap is pretty reactionary, the liquid stuff is. It gets thicker when it's cool and hotter. <clears throat> Sorry, thicker when it's cool and uh, thinner when it's hot. Now we're going to add a little more to make it even thicker. And this stuff gets so thick, by the time I'm done with it, I have to let the suds separate because they're mixed in with it before I can show you how thick it is. Look at that. You can't even find the soap in there. I'll let it sit for a minute. Okay, here we go. It is separated from the suds. You can see that's a really thick soap there. That's probably a one-to-one -one ratio, which, you know, 50-50, half and half, however you want to say it. Okay, so on to how I label the bottles. And that's it. Pretty quick, huh?